Hey everyone, we're here tonight with the 2015 Hyundai Elantra and we will be replacing uh, the rear shock here on the passenger side. We've already done the driver's side and it did not go as expected. I'm assuming this one is going to go the same. And if it does, we'll show you how it's done. Let's start with the lower bolt here, it's 19 millimeter. You can pull it out all the way if you pull the parking brake cable down a bit. And push it past. Now this is what we're gonna get at here. There's a 17 millimeter bolt on the other side. There is a big square nut underneath that sheet metal. It may start moving. Here's our 17 mil bolt here. If we're lucky, it's just gonna come out. Okay, to prime the new shock, push down. And just keep doing that a few times until it starts coming out on its own. Okay, and I've got someone on the other side who's gonna push that bolt through and thread it in. Okay, that's good enough for now. You can either lift the shock up a bit or you can pull down on the axle. We're gonna go with pulling down on the axle. Make sure this here on the outside, it's facing that way. If it's going the other way, it's not gonna tighten up. Torque wrench, work this to 87 foot pounds. Yeah, Alright, and that's how you change your rear shock on a Hyundai Elantra 2011 to 2017 when things go right. Since you're already here, I'll take you over to the other side and show you what we did to get the other one out. What we had to do was take a chisel and a mallet and cut out all around here, fold it up. Don't be afraid of this stuff. Very soft steel. And we got big curved locking pliers. Get it on here. And then have someone else impact it out on the other side. And that's the way to get that out if you're stuck. You can also pull this brake line out of the plastic track, move it out of the way, it helps a little bit. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.